I've got a new science toy and that is this, a har bottle. What is a har bottle? Well, a har bottle is a scientific instrument that helps you see the atmospheric pressure around you. Oh yes, did you know that you are actually currently being crushed by the overwhelming weight of the atmosphere as we speak? Yes, almost 15 pounds per square inch. That's like a grown man sitting on you all around you. But don't worry, you are built for it because you are an amazing creature. Anyways, this is a har bottle. And I'm going to show you exactly how much pressure we have around us at all times. So what is a har bottle? This is a har bottle. It is a glass beaker kind of thing. It has a spout on one end, it's round, and on the other end there is a stopper with a hole in it. You can blow through it, there's a hole on one end and a hole on the other end. Now, if I were to plug this up, I can't force any extra air in this bottle. I can try, but I would be increasing the pressure and that would just come out immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this stopper and I'm going to put a balloon on the inside of this so that you can see what's happening. So I'm putting the balloon on the inside and I'm stretching this over top of the spout. All right, so we have a balloon. I've taken the stopper out and I'm going to blow this up. <laughs> ah. Then I put the stopper in the bottom. What just happened here? Why isn't that balloon deflating? Look at this. This balloon is open to the outside. Now this is not a normal thing for a balloon to do because normally if you let a balloon go it just kind of flings all over the place and it expels the air that's inside it. But the atmospheric pressure around us is greater than the pressure than this balloon can exert. Now watch what happens when I pull this plug, because right now the inside of the balloon is open to the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is 14.7 pounds per square inch. But the outside of the balloon is in a sealed container, so there's no way for any air to leave without causing there to be a vacuum inside of this jar. Now watch what happens when I allow the outside air pressure inside the jar to be able to push on the outside of that balloon. It deflates, just like that. Now I'm going to show you this again, and I'm going to make a mess, probably. All right. There we go. So this is actually completely open to the outside air. I'm going to get some towels so that when this makes a mess, because I know it will make a mess, I can clean it up. So I'm actually going to pour water inside of this balloon, just like that. All right, so we have some water in there. Missed on a bunch, but yeah, there's water in there. When I pull this plug out of the bottom, it's going to allow the air pressure around us to rush inside of this jar, this har bottle, and force the balloon to expel the water. Let's test it out. Ah! <laughs> Yep, just like that. <laughs> now the water was, pardon me, the water was expelled because there was all of this atmospheric pressure rushing in through the bottom of this hole and exerting pressure on the balloon, which caused the water to fly outwards. And that is a cool demonstration of atmospheric pressure. I've got a bunch more atmospheric experiments on my channel, so if you're looking for more of those, I cover a bunch of them. So have fun, do science, I have new stuff coming out every single Wednesday morning, so see you next time, bye!